Well, I had troubles with him. You see, as the guy behind the shows, I would always work with the correspondent, and I'd say to them, this is what I'm suggesting you do, and this is the backup, but you're the guy who's responsible. And Cronkite just it didn't want to do that. He wanted, he wanted to just read the script. But the key point, uh, the one where he got so mad at me, was in a film called The Selling of the Pentagon. Now, we call it The Selling of the Pentagon, but it should have been called The Shilling of the Pentagon. And Walter had shilled for the Pentagon. He made a film showing how the Pentagon was going to stop the Russians from coming down off the North Pole. And in, that was bullshit, you know? And when we had the crisis on the selling of the Pentagon, we had to show that Walter had been taken in, too. And he blamed me. He blamed me to the point where I was not allowed to walk through the newsroom while he was there. He had Stan Sandy Sokolow at the entrance, and I was not allowed in the newsroom, except on weekends when he wasn't on the air. Was it that contentious back in the in the fifties when you were working with him, or not so? I mean, he just wouldn't show up. He would just come to read the copy, and that was that, it. That's it. Yeah. And the joke mm -hmm. is, uh, he pronounced the the word O I L as oil, and I said, no, it's oil, oil. He said, no, Walter, oil. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's recorded in written history. But he did, you know, he was very good at many, many things. He was, if I can go on just a little bit, but he was very concerned about national affairs in Washington and thought things outside of Washington didn't, didn't interest him much. And so that's why we invented Charlie Corralt on the road, you see, other parts of America. 